Hi there, welcome to the Golf Buyer Online teaching section. I'm Wesley Vaughan. We're just going to consider very briefly, and I'm going to give you some pointers. Um, I'm not going to go too much in depth, I'm just going to give you some simple pointers to look, up, to look out for. How to control um, the direction of the ball flight. Now, the only way you're able to control um, the direction of the ball flight is by controlling the angle of the club face at impact. There are other areas that uh, you can control the ball flight, but the main area really is by controlling the angle of the club face at impact. Now, how you do that is by gripping or holding the golf club properly. So what I want to do today is just give you some simple pointers on how you know that you're gripping the golf club correctly or how you know that you're gripping the golf club incorrectly. So first of all, what I want to do is just show you um, two incorrect holds. And um, let me point you in the direction so you know what to look out for um, if you're getting a certain shot. So we're just going to look at the strong grip. Now a strong grip for a right-handed golfer is when both the left hand and the right hand is turned too much to the right hand side of the grip. And what this grip will do is bring the club face into a closed position at impact, or in other words, it'll be aiming left at impact. And this will cause the ball to hook in flight to the left. So let's just go over what a closed grip looks like. First of all, the left hand is turned too much to the right. So what you will uh, see are all your knuckles on your left hand have been exposed. You can see all four knuckles on the left hand and the thumb on the right hand is sitting too much to the side of the grip. Those are the things that you need to look out for if you have a strong left hand grip. If you have a right, um, strong right hand grip, these are the pointers you need to look out for. The right hand will come underneath the golf club. This is incorrect. When you place the right hand on, more than likely your left thumb will be exposed. The right hand is so much underneath the grip, it's exposing the left thumb. Also, you won't be able to see any knuckles on your left hand. Now, if this is your grip, this is a strong grip, and this gives you a hook. So let me just demonstrate now on a shot. So this strong grip will hook the ball violently to the left. Then we'll look at the, um, the weak grip. Now a weak grip is a grip whereby the left hand is turned too much to the left. So either the thumb will be sitting on the centre of the grip or just left of centre. And what you'll come to notice is this. You probably won't be able to see any knuckles on your left hand. If this is the case, you have a very weak grip. Then, with the placement of the right hand, usually the right hand has moved too much to the left, covering the thumb and exposing probably one to two knuckles, if not three. This is a very weak grip and this will open the club face at impact, causing the ball to swing violently to the right, giving you a slice shot. So I'll just demonstrate this as well. And that ball has slides violently to the right. Then we've got the neutral grip. This is the grip that's going to be in between the strong and the weak. And this is the type of grip that is going to bring the club face into the ball at impact square. Therefore, giving you much more control over the direction of the ball in flight. So let me just give you some simple pointers um, for the neutral grip. What you will notice, first of all, 
is that when you place your left hand on the golf club correctly, the thumb should be sitting just to the right of centre. If this is the case, you'll be able to see at least two, two and a half knuckles on the left hand. If you have these two points, then pretty much your left hand would be in a good position. Then the placement of the right hand. Number one, I cover my left thumb completely. It's fully covered. I'm not exposing it in any way at all. I can see one knuckle on my right hand. If I've got these two points, then I know that both left and right hand are neutral. This will give me um, a square club facing impact and will hopefully then hit the ball straight. So I'm just going to demonstrate this. So here's my neutral grip. And that's a much straighter shot. So these are the pointers you need to look out for to see if you've got a strong grip, a weak grip, or if indeed your grip is neutral.